Today, a brief unboxing of a Ubiquiti 10 gig switch. Now, under $700 is actually on the more affordable side of 10 gig switches. Right now, I believe it's the most affordable one. So what's of interest here is we'll get the job done and we'll do it quietly. So here's the switch called the Edge Switch, excuse me, Edge Switch 16XG. So to 16 ports, I'm really actually mostly, mostly interested in the RJ45 copper for my Xeon D systems. But one of them, the E300-8D, actually has two SFP Plus ports. So I'll be using a little bit of each. Typically you'll have an SFP uplink from other switches you might own as well. Okay, that's my look at the box. And right there, SOP Plus. So that's a lot of ports. It's actually more ports than a competitor from Netgear. So later on, I'm going to look at watt burn and noise and so forth. Comparing it with the Netgear that I've also tested. Again, at this moment in time, which is late August of 2016, there's not a lot that's kind of home lab appropriate, quiet, and sort of affordable enough for home lab use. This is about as low as the price gets. So, so far the build quality and weight and the look and feel are good. I'd say these 1U plates are a little thinner than say Supermicro 1U servers, but it's also not as heavy, so it's expected. Before we get into the box itself, let's have a look what's inside the packing box. We've got some rack mount hardware. A nice close look at that. We've got some screws for the angle brackets to make it rack mountable. On you, of course, instructions and a power cord. Power cord looks to be, I think, four feet. Instructions, mostly about how to rack mount. A little bit about LED status. So something about baiting the hardware, power, connecting SFP, connecting RJ45, safety notices, IP address. This is a managed switch. All right. So look at the device itself. Nice close look. So we have an LED here, a whole bunch of tiny LEDs, getting status of each port. Same deal with the RJ45s, they get their own LEDs and lights indicating speed that's been negotiated. Rubber boots, not hard plastic, that's a nice touch for the SFP modules, SFP Plus, excuse me, and then RJ45 and a reset pin. On the bottom, we have some fingerprints I just put on there and no rubber feet. So because I'll be putting servers on top of this, um, I'm inclined to put some rubber feet on here to kind of protect it. How about the sides? Okay, a little bit of vent perforation holes there. I didn't see any mention in the literature about a fan, but it sure seems like this side has a bigger set of perforated holes, so one would guess the fan would be over closer to that side. So that's it for this unboxing of the Ubiquiti Edge Switch 16XG 10 gig 1U rack mountable switch. Thanks for watching and for visiting Tinkertry.com.